What's going on everyone? Hope you're having a great day. Welcome to the Tundra Dude 34 YouTube channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, welcome aboard. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you know every time I put up a video and or a live stream, we would love to have you involved in absolutely everything we do on the channel. Comments are always welcome. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're doing a little bit of an old school video today inside the Tundra. Obviously 2020 TRD Pro and that is the subject of the video today. I got somewhere I gotta be so we're gonna take a little ride and talk about the little bit of a decision I have to make coming up very shortly. I hope you guys will uh, talk me through it a little bit because I'm very confused. Now, some of you may find this to be a very easy decision, but it is very tough and it has to do with getting out of this 2020 Army Green TRD Pro, which we will talk about along the way. I will give you a brief history on myself with this truck, why I got it, when I got it, and what's going on currently with it. And we also have that next generation Tundra coming out, which I plan to get immediately once that hits the lots. So we got a lot of decisions to make. So today we're gonna boil it all down to when to make that decision and how to make that decision. So let me get out on the road and then we will start talking about this. I thank you for being here. I hope you're having a great day. Stay tuned. Okay, so as we start this ride, I'm gonna start off with uh, my apologies about the sound. For some reason, this camera really reacts to the sound of the TRD dual exhaust. It does something to it. It kind of muffles it every once in a while, so I apologize for the sound. I will speak loud and clear for you, so hopefully it is not affected. But okay, let me just get you caught up on everything before I tell you the true nature of this story. In case you're new to the channel, we got a lot of new people uh, coming on lately, so welcome aboard. This is a 2020 TRD Pro Tundra in Army Green, as in the shot, I'm sure you can see the hood. I bought this truck in March, early March 2020, right before the pandemic hit for MSRP, which was about $56,000. Um, I had a 2017 supercharged TRD Pro. Now, a lot of people thought I was crazy to get out of a 2017 Platinum supercharged. Hold on, let's hear the TRD dual exhaust. Go to town here. Can't beat that sound. You just can't beat that sound. There we go. Sounds perfect. But anyway, I had a 2017 Platinum supercharged. Um, people thought I was crazy to get out of it. Now, there's a couple reasons I did it. Number one, I do a Tundra YouTube channel, as you are watching right now. I had a supercharged Tundra. Now the supercharger was fantastic, it was great, I highly recommend it, but the problem is a lot of people, a lot of viewers, don't have um, the want or need or funds for something like a supercharger. There was very few of us um, who had a supercharger, so I wanted to broaden my horizon and go back to a naturally aspirated 5.7 liter V8, just to compare and contrast what you guys are actually driving out there. Supercharger for me, install, delivery, the part, everything was about $9,200. So you're not gonna see a lot of people who wanna spend that much money on a part for their vehicle, and I don't blame you, it was very expensive. So I had wanted to get this because I wanted a naturally aspirated 5.7 to be basically like all of you guys out there with the naturally aspirated option. That's number one. Number two, my Platinum was a 2017, this is a 2020. So between 2017 and now, there were a few little updates here and there on the Tundra. The biggest one being the uh, Toyota Safety Sense being introduced in 2020, or excuse me, in 2018, and then in 2020 we had push button start, the new Entune 3.0 system, a little bit bigger of a screen, shark fin antenna, we had the Toyota app now that you could use with the Tundra to remote start, do all your service options on there. We had a lot of new stuff on the Tundra that to me justified getting into something that was a little bit more current with a lot of the refresh stuff that is now available on the Tundra. When I got this truck, it kind of was an opportunity that happened very very quickly it was something that i didn't plan to do within 24 hours it went from oh a local dealership is getting an army green trd pro which is the special color of 2020 very hard to find and me making a decision to to do it it was very tough like i said i really like that platinum and everything uh, but i ended up doing it but it was supposed to be what i've been calling a gap truck so a gap truck as in I'll buy it in March of 2020 and keep it till the next generation comes out. And then after that, we will trade it in. I knew it would hold its value, it's a TRD Pro. We would trade it in for a next generation Tundra. But one thing happened since then, all right? I fell in love with this truck. This is actually the, my favorite Tundra I've ever owned. I've owned six of them. For some reason, this one is by far my favorite and that is including the supercharged Tundra. Um, the 5.7 V8, best feeling 5.7 V8 I've had in all the Tundras I've had. Um, it's just something about this truck. There's a good amount of options in it. 
I'm comfortable. I like the little bit of updates it made, like the push button start and everything like that. Uh, the new gauge cluster that came out in 2018. Remember, I was in 2017. It was the old gauge cluster. Just everything, you know, the digital speedometer, little things here and there. I always say that with the Tundra. The Tundra is not going to have all those F-150 features all over the place, but it's going to have the little things here and there in the 2020 and 2021. And that's what I feel like we are involved in right now. So it has all the features I would need and everything I would want. And that's the big deal for me right there. So that is why I did it. Fell in love with this truck and now I don't know what to do. Now on top of that and not knowing what to do, I'm also in a situation where the used values, as you guys know, are extremely high right now. If you look at the video I did um, yesterday or the day before, we looked all over the country at TRD Pro Tundras. The low number used Tundra price we were seeing it was like fifty-eight or fifty-nine thousand dollars for a used one with like almost thirty thousand miles on it, and we were seeing numbers shoot up into the sixties. Now this truck here has almost six thousand miles on it. It's still pretty much brand new. It's the special color Army Green TRD Pro. COVID happened, so during twenty twenty the production rate wasn't as high as it always is because everything was slowed down because of you know they have to do the safety requirements with the social distancing and cleaning the equipment and everything like that. So this truck became extremely rare and everybody always likes army green or military green on any vehicle. So it is a very sought after truck. So right now I initially got a trade in value of $50,000 for this truck months ago. Well, now that number has shot up into the high fifties to trade in. Now, most of you, and this is where my problem lies. Most of you will be like, well, trade out of that thing. You're going to get rid of it anyway when the next gen comes. Now that's true. But because I fell in love with this truck so much, A, I don't want to trade it in. And it's kind of damned if you do, damned if you don't. Because if I trade it in now, I get a massive value that may fall out by the time I actually am ready to trade it in. That's number one. Number two, the scary part is I kind of want to keep this truck and the next gen, but there's no way I would be able to afford both trucks. We know the next generation Tundra is not going to be cheap. Um, this truck here is not cheap at all. It was a $56,000 price tag. I mean, you could do the math yourself. Um, but keeping both would obviously be great for the channel, but it would be very hard to afford. So the fact that I could get out of this thing right now and I would actually make a bunch of money is kind of a no-brainer. But at the same time, I don't think you guys understand how much I love this TRD Pro. This is not my first TRD Pro. I had a 2016, um, but this one here is amazing and it's just very hard to trade out of it. I wanna hear what you guys think about this one. Of course, we all wanna see this truck remain on the channel and get a next gen as well. I'm definitely getting a next gen just for a few reasons. Number one, I'm an enthusiast and fan of the truck before anything. I really wanna see what Toyota will offer. We've been in the 5.7 V8 for a long time, uh, but I really wanna see what Toyota will offer with the next generation Tundra and everything. So that's definitely happening. Um, and I did not expect to feel the way I feel about this truck, but th there's just things about it, especially, like I said, the response of the 5.7 V8. We know there's no more transmission coolers in these trucks. It was recalibrated after the fact, and everything is coming together. My Platinum 2017, before I got it supercharged, I felt like that 5.7 V8 was, I don't know if it was underpowered, but it didn't feel like it had to get up and go. Like this thing here, you put your foot down and it's ready to go. The shifts are smooth. This is the way it should be. If they weren't coming out with the next gen and this was just it, with the little things that they updated here or there, I would be very, very happy. No issues whatsoever, but it is what it is. So my question to you in this video is what do you think I should do? I think if I worked hard, like I said, the offer on the table right now for this truck is in the mid to high 50s as an offer. So if I traded it in for that, they're going to turn around and try to sell this thing for low 60s. So I don't know what to do. I'm so lost. If I was forced to make a decision right now, I still want to keep the thing, you know? Uh, and like I said, I would really like to try to find a way to keep this and have a next gen, but I am so confused on what to do. It is why I'm making this video. I didn't plan to make this video, uh, but I'm so confused on what to do, you know, with this truck because I know I'm going to regret once this thing goes away. But uh, I think I'll regret this going away more than I regretted the 2017 Platinum going away with the supercharger because I did love that truck, but there's just something about this. So you guys got to let me know what you think in the comments below. 
it's pretty much to keep the pro or get rid of it right away. You could tell me what you would do in this situation. I'm going to the viewers on this one. Would you keep this thing until the very end when it's time to trade in? With the risk of the massive value of used vehicles dropping out and everything going back to normal, which by the way, I would still do fine with this truck. I'm in a green situation. I'm in a green truck and a green situation. Um, you know, with this thing, regardless of the used values, like this is a TRD Pro, it's a special edition color, it's a late model, I can get good value for it, but the fact that everything is so insanely juiced up right now in the used market, because there are no new Tundras, um, I feel like I'm missing a big opportunity, but money isn't everything. Old school style video in the truck, gotta go somewhere, figured I'd bring you along and tell you about my uh, first world problems, but let me know what you think in the comments below, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, at TundraDude34, TundraDude34, gmail.com. You guys have a great day. Be safe and be well.